Hey Dom, this is Dave Desai, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some tea for y'all. Wow, recently the news is going crazy over BTS and just K-pop in general. There's this apparent photo that leaked and people think it's a woman and a condom in a hotel room with BTS. This is crazy. This is crazy how this got leaked or whatever. There's also a dispatch article recently posted talking about Taekook. It's very cute, so I definitely want to get into this and talk about it. So grab your dumb blue notes, he's spilling mug merch, and let's get into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of anytime new video drops. And if you're a hater, like to be first, leave your hate comment. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. The first thing I want to get into is this woman and hotel room picture thing. First of all, so much craziness is happening in K-pop. I have so many topics and groups to cover, but so much is happening with BTS. Oh my God. There's so much to talk about and I'm sure their team is even stressed, which is why accidents can happen. And I will get into what my theory is. If you're unaware, on BTS's official Instagram account, a photo was posted and it was an interesting photo to say the least. This was on their story. It was a photo of a bed, a TV remote, I think, might be an AC remote, a shag carpet, and what a lot of people speculate as a hotel room. And right in the corner there is a photo of a foot with painted nail polish. Immediately, everyone assumed this photo was of a woman because I guess men can't paint their nails. Watch the foot be tans and he just wanted to paint his nails yellow. But anyway, people were freaking out and wondering why this photo was posted. And of course, why is there a woman in a hotel room on BTS's Instagram account? Army screen grab everything. This is posted and a lot of people grabbed it before it was taken down. I don't know how long it was up, but judging by all the photos that were screen grabbed, it looked like it was only up for like 40 seconds or so before being taken down. But of course, that is more than enough time for ARMY. I don't even think ARMY needs to know what the photo is. They just grab. The internet, of course, was mad for several reasons. One, why was this photo posted at all? And why is there even a mistake like this that is happening? People were scared that it'll make BTS look bad because they assumed that one of the members might have posted it. When it is more likely that BTS doesn't have access or even really use Instagram and definitely not to post on there themselves. People know how to interact with BTS and to do it either on the Twinster or Weverse Star. But just because the fandom knows that doesn't mean that other viewers will know this and new viewers might be upset over what people are calling a quote unquote sensitive photo. It's a picture of a foot and a bit. Like, no, that's not sensitive. But also, it's mostly going to be Korean fans that would find this sensitive. I think American audience would find it funny. It would actually advance their career because it's not a bad thing and it gets people talking about it here in America. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Another thing that was weird that people pointed out was that the photo was allegedly posted in the middle of the night. And I'm assuming everyone is saying middle of the night, like in Korean time. And a lot of theories were that this woman is Big Hit staff. And of course, not a girlfriend or whatever. The question then comes to mind. Why was this Big Hit staff logging on to the Instagram account at such late hours? What was she or he trying to do? My theory could be this could be a photo from within the States because I think it would have been early morning for people here in the US and thus an appropriate time to post. The social media managers or celebrities or whatever have to constantly post and Instagram's algorithm requires you to make like 14 or 15 posts a week, either from stories or regular posts, reels, whatever it is, basically to post a lot. So this social media manager was probably just getting the posts in. I do find it weird that this was a photo that was taken at all. Like whoever posted it, what was the point of this photo? We don't see anything that you would necessarily share with a friend. This makes me think this definitely wasn't a photo that was sent to a BTS member, like as a hot text that was leaked from their phone and it was supposed to be like a sexy woman being like come hither. There's nothing sexy about this photo. You see nothing. The main focal point of the picture is the bed and the carpet. My theory is maybe this woman or whatever liked the bedding and carpet and wanted to go pick some up. I don't know but that's my theory. Theories continue to float around and when people zoomed in on the bed they noticed a shiny thing in the corner of the bed. Immediately people assume this was a condom and people were mad about this. Now I did some intense obviously very scientific and accurate research. I'm kidding. But I looked at a lot of, and I mean a lot of condom wrappers this morning. Do not go through my search history. I was looking specifically for silver wrappers and I couldn't find a brand that has like a black bar on the wrapper. No condom to my knowledge has a similar wrapper like this. So it just appears to be maybe the embroidery of the bed sheet or whatever. I do not think it's a condom. This woman, man, staff, or whatever has not acknowledged this, at least as of filming this. People are attacking the staff and hive over this and expecting action to be taken. I personally think the staff staff's response to this is simply deleting the photo. That is a response and it's to say it was a mistake. There's no reason to attack Hybe over a mistake and people make mistakes. To pray someone loses their job over a mistake is ridiculous. I don't think BTS would want to fire their staff over small mistakes as BTS has made small mistakes too. To wish someone would lose their job over a mistake is going too far. This person could have a family. It was rumored but I think later proved to be false but it was rumored for a while that you need to be married to work at Big Hit or near BTS. If that was 
true, then this staff could have had a family and you're hoping they'll get fired for a mistake. I pray to those people who said that they never make a mistake at their job ever because karma will get you. People are so mean for no reason and it's not even a big deal. No one in the 21st century has lost their career over a dating rumor or anything. Blackpink Jenny had one of the biggest ones to date and she is still going strong. It's ridiculous to think an idol has to hide their dating to the public if this was real because this is what people are mad about. The possibility of it being real when in reality none of that matters. And being this netizen or fans that are like this staff must be punished is further perpetuating the cycle of this behavior and fan culture. Don't you think it's toxic? Don't you want to change it? Be the change please. People are always going crazy over what is going online and articles written. Dispatch is definitely one of the leading dating news sources that seems like everyone believes. Not bash and dispatch daddy but what exactly makes them the most credible source of dating news? Like the fact that they have intense paparazzi photos. Wouldn't any other news site also be able to get those photos? They just maybe chose not to do it. But like dispatch has often been wrong before no? Anyway they wrote a cute article. This article was titled V and Jungkook created boyfriend pictures ahead of single release. Quick backstory Big Hit posted some short videos of Tam and Jungkook in a photo booth and they're just making faces and kissy faces and cute stuff like that. It definitely wasn't a serious post but it looks like it was to promote the butter audio video and also to talk about an upcoming possible song and maybe a Taekook subunit. Taekook is big and has gotten support from various companies as well as it being the biggest ship in BTS. And I really mean it. Apparently companies like McDonald's, Samsung and now even Dispatch are supporters. And now I'm not sure if they really like them together or are just kind of jumping in because they're the biggest. But it's cute regardless. Now immediately reading this title from Dispatch Daddy I know what this is about. Boyfriend photos are in quotes and Jungkook and V were given us boyfriend clips. They were straight up flirting with the camera and boyfriend pictures are pictures or video that appear like someone you're dating is sitting across from you or whatever and being cute with you. And that is what they were doing. I can't tell you exactly what the article read because I can no longer find the article. It was removed but I do feel sad there is less interaction from Taeyang and Jungkook recently and maybe they don't want to interact that much publicly anymore because they don't want speculation or anything like that. They feel like they need to hold back or not show so much affection because they want people to talk about other members or whatever it is. That is entirely just speculation. I have no idea if that is true or not. But hey this was definitely a nice surprise to see Dispatch talking about this this morning and I was loving that this was an article. Likely the article was just talking about the photo booth moment and just talking about how cute it was and of course maybe even given some detail on the new single. I mean they basically confirmed it was a single right? So much is going on. So little time to sit there and freak out. We need a little time to freak out before everything drops and so does my life at that point. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. And as always I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check stuff out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. There are currently over 300 videos that are already up on there and maybe even 400 videos that you can get access to the moment you sign up. We also have a great time interacting with each other over there as well as I do send out monthly cards and all that. So if you're interested in any of that link is in the top of the description down below. There's also a video over there that kind of explains how you can support this channel even more if you would like to do that. That video is on the front page and it's free to watch if you want to check out. With that said there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video so click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.